Hello again, uh, an old project, but finally I got time and uh, how can I say mood to start doing this a rack 8 dB antenna tuned for USA 950 megahertz and uh, let's begin with a uh, measuring let's see what is nano VNA saying about this nano VNA saver let's connect the device we have to pay attention to this uh, cadran here S11 and uh, let me calibrate nano VNA 500 to 100 to 1000 okay and let's do it the same 5000 megahertz to 1200 megahertz and let's sweep the antenna and you can see we have a really nice dip here at 647 that's the first one and another one at 934 okay let me raise the antenna ideally should be up in the air but that's the best i can do and 936 megahertz we have that point there okay now i will dismantle this to measure it without the glass tube the fiberglass tube so this is obviously tuned for us but not even there because it's 933 should be 915 or something anyway okay this one goes out uh, to take the antenna out we need to do unsolder this connection here okay there we go let me change the soldering iron tip because I don't want to mess with this thin one I'm using that for very small components and yeah so we need to disconnect this to desolder this and to take all the tubes out the other side and we'll reconnect that to measure without the fiberglass okay we need more power this is done and now let me have this wire here okay this is clear and now this should go out easy okay we are done and now the whole tubes are going out the other side like this now let me have all of this connected again because we want to see what's the impact of the of the fiberglass tube this should be really interesting let's calibrate again same 500 to 1200 okay 500 megahertz to 1200 megahertz and sweep all right look at this 696 the deepest point 955 huh, this is so funny okay let me try to keep it up in the air I can't believe that the fiberglass have such an impact all right so we have here a point at 1.06 and then we have another deep one at 1.18 gigahertz this is so amazing okay let me see okay can i do you think i can keep it like this an equilibrium okay let me try wow 
934 it's back there and without the fiberglass One hundred nine hundred and thirty four it's far away from any kind of through. This is so amazing. I never saw this kind of impact. I really mean that. What about this return loose here? You know the maximum point down here. It's at six hundred and forty five megahertz. But of course we need uh something like eight hundred and around here. So we have to take this point down here. Should be so nice. Okay. Anyway, I'll consider 934 megahertz the ideal frequency for now and I'll take everything up to scale. 933. And let's start dismantle the antenna. Okay. This is out. And now we have to dismantle each of these uh, segments. Okay, so the antenna is dismantled. We have two, four, six, seven, eight um, pipes. And uh, as I see, they are all same length. 105.1, 105.2, 105.3, 105.4, 105.5. Oh no, it's one, of course. Okay, these are slightly shorter. No, same. Yes, they are all the same. 105.1. Okay. 105.1. Um, what about the short one? This is a 35.1. 35.1. Well, I, I don't know what is this about but anyway let's consider let's consider the velocity factor of this is 0 66 and um, we have like and we found out that that the first tuning frequency was 934 okay so usually the formula it's like we have this uh, coaxial collinear antenna calculator and we consider these tubes having a velocity factor of 0 0.66. Let's punch in the frequency found with nano VNA, 934 megahertz. Okay, calculate. And of course, look here, we have a half wave segment of 105.92 millimeters. Very clear. Now, if we punch in 868, because we need 868 for uh, for European mining, LoRa, and so on, right? Then we need to have a segment of 113.98, 114 millimeters. So I need to add to these elements around, let me try like this. Okay, so uh, we have a very clear 113.98 millimeters. Let me measure this here, it's easier, 113. Okay, like this, and a little bit more here. Are we okay? Yes, approximately. So I have to to add. I have to add to each of these uh, tubes around 9.6 millimeters, one centimeter. It will be one centimeter and. That should be perfect to have enough room for soldering this. Where are you? Something like this. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty long. It's enough. Okay, first step, it's done. Now we have to make this longer and 
to do the other uh, adjustments.